In this video, we, we are going to watch how we are going to prepare fund flow statement. Funds refers to just cash. In a broader sense, funds refers to all financial resources. And in a popular sense, funds refers to net working capital. So what is net working capital? Working capital is the capital which is required to carry out day-to-day -day business operations. That is, excess of current asset over current liability. Fund flow statement is a statement of changes in financial position which is prepared on net working capital basis. So what does it mean by flow? Flow of fund. Flow it itself means change. And therefore, flow of fund, that is the change in net working capital. In other words, any increase or decrease in net working capital means flow of funds. So preparing a fund flow statement is quite interesting and of course more challenging. There are three steps in the whole process of preparing a fund flow statement. The very first step in preparing a schedule in working capital. The very first step is schedule of changes in working capital. The excess of current asset over current liability is known as working capital. So you consider here only the current asset and current liability in preparing schedule of changes in working capital. So what about the non-current assets and non-current liability? So the non-current asset and non-current liability you will prepare a ledger and for schedule of changes in working capital, you will record only the current assets and current liability. And the second step is funds from operation. So the fund from operation is the major source of fund to an organization. That is the funds generated from business operations only are recorded in fund from operation. And the third step is fund flow statement. The fund flow statement describes the sources and application of funds. So you record whatever the sources you get. That is the additional funds you derive from and the uses of funds. Where you use all these funds will be shown in the fund flow statement. So what, is, what does it mean by working capital? I told you already working capital is the excess of current asset over current liability. There are two concepts of working capital. Gross working capital, net working capital. So gross working capital is refers to the total current assets and Net working capital is the excess of current asset over current liabilities. Now we will go to the specimen of schedule of changes in working capital. The typical form of schedule of changes in working capital is given below. You have to draw the particulars column, previous year, current year, increase in working capital, decrease in working capital. So you have to draw five columns and you will record all the current assets. So what does it mean by current asset? Current assets are those which are easily convertible into cash, say within a year. In other words, the assets which are acquired with the intention of converting them into cash during the accounting year are called 
current assets. So some of the current assets are recorded here. Cash in hand, cash at bank, short term investments, advances recoverable, debtors, bills receivable, stock of raw materials, stock of work in progress, stock of finished goods, stock of spares, accrued income, prepaid expenses, reserve for discount on creditors. So you have to follow a rule to post the increase in working capital and decrease in working capital. According to current asset, when current asset increases, the increased amount will be posted in the increase in working capital column. And when the current asset decreases, decrease in working capital column, you will post the decreased amount. For example, when the cash, cash in hand from the previous year to the current year, if there is an increase in current asset, you will show the increased amount in the increase in working capital. You will show the increased amount in the increase in working capital. When, for example, if the cash in hand decreases from the previous year to the current year, decreases, the Decrease amount will be shown in the decrease in working capital column. After posting all these, after recording all these increase and decrease in working capital, you find out the total current asset for the previous year and the current year and I have denoted it as A. Likewise, we have recorded all the current liabilities. The creditors, bills payable, incomes received in advance, outstanding expenses, bank overdraft, cash credit, short term loans, tax payable, dividend payable, provision for doubtful debts, provision for discount on debtors. And the rule for current liabilities. When the current liability increases, the working capital decreases. And when the current liability decreases, Working capital increases. So when there is a increase in current liability, the increased amount will be recorded in the decrease in working capital. And when there is a decrease in current liability, the decreased amount will be shown in the increase in working capital column. After finding all these, after recording all the increase in working capital and decrease in working capital, you total the total current liabilities. Earlier I have said the working capital, net working capital is the total current asset minus total current liability. So I have denoted it as A minus B. You will get the net working capital. After finding this, you will write it as increase or decrease in working capital. If from the previous year to the current year, the amount, if it has been increased, you will show it in the decrease in working capital column. And if it has been decreased, you show it in the increase in working capital column. And, it, and that will be shown as increase or decrease in working capital. From this specimen, we will now uh, be clear if we go to a problem, if we see a problem, we will be more clear about the specimen, how to prepare the schedule of changes in working capital. The problem goes like this. The following are the summarized balance sheets of Prime Limited as at 31st December 2013 and 14. So you have given the balance sheet of two years, 2013 and 14. That is the previous year and the current year. The liabilities are here and the assets and the current liabilities are given and the current assets are given. You are asked to prepare a statement showing changes in working capital. The solution goes like this. Schedule of changes in working capital. You have to draw five columns, particulars. Previous year 2013, current year 2014, changes in working capital, increase, decrease. You must go 
go with the rules that is when the current asset increases increase in working capital when the current asset decreases decrease in working capital and when the current liabilities increases increase uh, decrease in working capital and current liability decreases increase in working capital so we go to the problem current asset stock 45000 so there is an increase in current asset when there is an increase in current asset you show it in the increase in working capital column 20000 40000 it has been increased so you show it in the increase in working capital there is a decrease of 3000 current asset decreases you show it in the decrease column 6000 20000 it has been increased so you show it in the increase column 25000 15000 there is a decrease so you show it in the decrease column 13000 45000 there is an increase so you show it in the increase column for current asset when there is an increase you show it in the increase if there is a decrease you show it in the decrease column likewise in current liabilities it is vice versa when there is a increase in current liabilities you show it in the decrease column and when there is a decrease you show it in the increase column so credit as there is a decrease so you show it in the increase in working capital here 5000 and for the next year you don't have anything so there is a decrease so vice versa you show it in the increase column the bills payable for the current year you, for the previous year you don't have anything for the current year you have 3000 so it has been increased so you show it in the decrease column when there is an increase you show it in the decrease column here it has been increased so you show it in the decrease column here it has been increased so you show it in the decrease column now you total the current asset and it has been denoted as a and total of current liability it has been denoted as b net working capital is current asset minus current liability current asset minus current liability 115000 minus 55000 you get 60000 and for the current year 188000 and current liability 58000 when you deduct you get 130000 from the current year from the previous year to the current year there is an increase of 70000 so you show it in the decrease column of working capital and you will get the balance of 130000 it has been balanced it has been uh, you show you have the same total here and also in the changes in working capital you get the same total so this has been proved as you have the schedule of changes in working capital there is a decrease in working capital of 70000 thank you for watching i think you you would have understood the schedule of changes in working capitals